Hello True Cookie Managers. This video will show you how to allocate cookie sales from the Troop link to the girls in your troop. It was recorded in 2021, so the cookie lineup and prices will look different, but the process is the same. There is also a TCM closeout guide posted on the cookie resources page of the GSCO website that includes the same information along with other closeout steps. Hello Girl Scouts of Colorado. Thank you for joining me for a quick tutorial and run through of how to allocate cookies and eBuddy from the troop link. So I've opened up my test troop for Girl Scouts here. Um, my troop, I'm gonna pop into Girl Orders. Here we go. You'll see my girls listed and I'm gonna go ahead and open up that troop link. So this year, this troop link can be used in different ways, whether it was online through the randomizer, at a booth, maybe through a girl through social media. There was a variety of ways. So I'm just going to cover the best that I can and give you a quick general understanding of what to do. So here you'll see DON for donation, DLVR for deliver, ship is ship, and then in hand for in hand. And what you'll notice is in hand and delivered both don't show what cookies are there, but do show the amount of money that's connected to it. Um, but the ship and the donation both show the cookies that were given out in variety and the money connected because they ideally were done online, even though the donation doesn't show variety, but shows packages that are connected to it. So those packages are shown because they were done through the DOC site, paid for, and either um, are the gift of caring donation or were shipped to the actual person. So I'm going to actually go ahead and start to clean up everything out of here because by the end of the program, we need to have this line down to zero and our money is down to zero. Um, and so to do so, I need to start moving these cookies to where they properly go. And so this past week we had a booth. So I want to go ahead and add a transaction and I'm going to go ahead and call this move to booth re. Recorder, but you know, instead of putting booth recorder, I'm actually going to go abbreviate that to booth recorder. And I'm going to say the date of the actual booth that we had, and that was February 28th. Now, again, this is that in hand one right here, and there's no cookies, there's only that package that we sold to move over. So I'm going to make a negative four here and push OK, and that will go ahead and show that I had moved to booth recorder February 28th. And so I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to pop on over to that booth recorder. It's right here by clicking booth sites. And then at our council sites, we drop down to show record sales. And that Steve snapping nubs is where we were at. We actually sold a lemon up package. And I want to, oh, only my test girl is gonna show up because this is a test site. So all the other girls you saw before were not listed, but I unchecked our troop because our troop was not an option. It's not a girl, but my test girl was there. So I'm gonna click distribute and it is gonna pop my lemon over there to her, put the money where it's needed. I'm gonna submit the sale and I'm gonna real quick go back over to that girl order tab to show you that if you haven't used this before, it's great because it allows us to track um, what boosts are happening where and the amount of packages being sold. So you will see now under my test girl, I have one lemon and it also shows the money that was collected. So perfect, that did the work for me. I'm gonna now go back into my truth site and in my troop site, I am going to need to move some cookies because one of my girls in my troop named Abby let me know that she used the troop link and actually had a sale for a neighbor and was able to deliver those. So I'm going to go ahead and make a note that move to Abby and I'm going to say personal. I'm going to abbreviate that. So personal sale. And I'm going to say that I moved it today because this is the date that I moved it, right? Um, and I'm going to actually just go ahead and make another negative because she has the cookies allocated to her her already. Um, she made the delivery, but this is just the money being cleared out of here. So I know where the money is going. So out it goes. I need to make sure I save again. And then let me use my little drop down here and get to Abby. And I need to make a transaction for Abby to show what I just moved out of that troop link. So I added my transaction and I'm going to say troop DOC. And then to match that wording that I had, I'm going to do the PER personal and then sale. And I'm going to do March 5th again. So this is going to match what's on the other side. And I'm going to put $102 into her side because we were paid into our troop. So we already have that money. Um, but and she would have the cookies. Now, mind you, it won't look perfect here because we can't allocate in this demo site the cookies. And I'm going to save. So it's always saved. 
And so now this has a connection that matches with my actual troop link. So let me get back into that troop link because we're not down to zero yet and we haven't cleared it all out. So now what it leaves me are my shipped items and my donation. And lucky for us, this randomizer has been working amazing. And so these are actual cookies that I need to distribute evenly amongst the girls. And as you can see, it says 35 down here. So there is going to be a little bit of a number difference because 35 amongst four is not an even number. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to actually put, again, another note. And I'm going to say move to troop. And I'm going to put total... Oh, EOC. And again, I've got to put my date because I want to know when I did this. And now this time it's going to take me just a second because I'm going to have to go through and negative out these so we can distribute it to the girls. So again, this is going to clear out our troop link now from all of the randomizer items that were um, online. And so we just wanna make it fair amongst our girls and separate out these cookies. So if you just give me a second, I will work some magic. And what I'm about to do is jump into each girl making a transaction that's connected to this one here. So to move to troop, the total DOC, my March 5th, this now also zeroed me out. But let me start to pop into my girls. Oh, gotta save first. But let me pop into the girls real fast and make these transactions. All right, we are back. Woo, worked all that magic, put all my transactions in, and let me just show you real quick what it would look like. So um, an example is underneath Abby. Um, I have my troop DOC 
per sale, right? That her personal sale. But then I also have the troop DOC total from March 5th. And again, that's going to match my transaction from the troop link. And then it has the eight packages of cookies and the $32. So there's nothing owed. It just added to her actual sales. Um, I did have to, if you did the math, one of them was because it was 35, I had to do a difference. So I did troop DOC total plus two. So if I ever wondered how come it says 35 for girls, I would know that one girl got the plus two. Um, so I did make note in there so that if um, there was another transaction or something that was needed, I'd be able to change later. So again, just to recap, we have now gone through into our troop link and we have distributed cookies for donation, delivered, ship and in hand, making it down to zero, allocating to our troop and the girls, making notes for each transaction as to why they went through, bucketing some of those together and other ones making it individual as needed. Um, I hope that you found this tutorial easy to follow and we thank you for your participation in the Girl Scout Cookie Program and your support of the girls. You take care. Thanks for watching the video. You can find the TCM eBuddy Closeout Guide on the Cookie Resources page. Scan this QR code to go directly to the page.